Welcome to the Windows Productivity Help Desk Demo, one of the most important tools to understand for increasing computer productivity is the file management system called the Windows Explorer. This is not to be confused with the Internet Explorer that you use to browse the Internet with. We're going to show you a few tips and tricks to maximize your time in using the Windows Explorer program. You open the Windows Explorer program by hovering your mouse over the Start button and right-clicking. A fly-out menu will appear and you will then left-click the Explore text. This will launch the Windows Explorer window and you will notice that the window is divided into two panes, a left and right pane. In its basic state, it shows all your drives and folders in the left pane with your folders and files in the right pane. Your local disk, C drive, is where most of your files will be stored, and if you expand the plus sign beside the C drive folder, it will open up a navigation tree to show all your existing folders in the C drive. If you further expand a folder tree by clicking on the plus sign beside a folder name in the left pane, you will then see all the files that are inside that folder in the right pane as well. You can view the files in different ways by clicking on the View tab in the upper menu options and selecting your preference for icon or text view. Here are some Windows navigation shortcuts and tips that are common to most Windows applications. You can position the full window by left-clicking and dragging the window to the position of your choice on the desktop. You resize the window by going to any of the four corners and when a diagonal arrow appears, you can left-click and drag the window to size. You can maximize the window to full screen by left-clicking the middle square in the upper right-hand side, and clicking again will restore the window to its previous size. You can minimize the window by left-clicking the underscore square, and it drops down to the toolbar. The program is still open, and it can be restored by clicking on the toolbar icon. You can close the program by left-clicking on the X in the upper right-hand corner. Resizing elements in the panes is easy by hovering your mouse over the separators in the panes until an arrow appears. Left-click and drag to size. By using any or all of these navigation and resize features, you can manage several windows on the desktop at the same time, which is called multitasking. Creating a new folder to manage your files is simple. Let's start by creating a download folder that we will later use in another Help Desk module. First, select a folder in the left pane in which you would like to create a subfolder and left-click. If there are other folders that already exist inside that folder, it will show them in both the left and right panes of the window. To create a new folder, right-click inside the right pane and a fly-out menu will appear. Select the New Text option and another fly-out menu will appear. Select the Folder option and an Edit field will appear. Type in the name of your new folder in the Edit field and then click outside the Edit field when you are finished. The new folder will appear in both the left and right panes. If you open that folder by left-clicking the folder name in the left pane, you will see that it is currently empty with no files inside. Let's add some files now and learn a few file copying and pasting shortcuts that will save you a huge amount of time by using the right-click feature on your mouse. We'll first show you how to copy and paste consecutive files that are grouped together. Open the folder that you will be copying the files from by left-clicking the folder name in the left pane. If the file is in a subfolder, you will have to open the folder tree by left-clicking the plus icon beside the folder name to see the subfolders. We are going to copy files from our test folder to the download folder we created earlier. You first open the test folder in the left pane, and you see all the files inside that folder in the right pane. To copy consecutive files, you left-click the first file in the right pane, hold the Shift key down, and then left-click on the last file you want to copy. All the files in between the first and last will be highlighted. You can at this point take your mouse up to the Edit tab and select Copy or Control-C, which is a universal copy feature in all Windows applications. Here is a faster way to do this. Highlight the first file again, 
Then the last file and right click your mouse inside the highlighted area and it will bring up a fly out menu that gives you the copy function. Select copy and the files are now stored in a temporary buffer. Click on the folder you want to paste the files into, in this case the download folder, and right click inside the right pane to get the paste option. Select paste and there are the files copied to the new location. Quite often you have a group of files that are not grouped together that you would like to copy. To copy non-consecutive files, you would once again go to the folder from which you want to copy the files. Let's use Test Folder 2 in this case and open the folder to see the files inside. You left click the first file you want to copy and then instead of pressing the Shift button, you hold the Control button down and then left click the non-consecutive files you want to copy. Right click inside the highlighted area to copy these files into the buffer. You then go to the folder you want to paste these files into and right click inside the right pane and there they are. To copy the complete contents of an entire folder, you would highlight the folder in the left pane and right click to copy, and then open the folder in the left pane in which you want to copy this folder. Right click and select paste. This concludes this demo module for the Windows Productivity Help Desk. For further information, please contact us by visiting www.yestv.net. Thank you.